Hello, my dear students. Once again, welcome back to Arvida classes. My name is Arvida Banerjee, and today we are going to do in Dice's chapter from ICC 9th Maths. So let us see the properties of indices first of all. Okay. So what is indices first of all? Suppose if I write anything to the power m, a to the power m. So here a is called as the base and m is called as the index or it is called as the power. Okay, and it is read as a to the power m or a raised to m. Okay, now what does it mean? It means that a into a into a into like this m times. Right? So if I write 2 to the power q, here the base will be 2 and the power or the index will be 3. And what is the meaning of it? 2 into 2 into 2. That is 8. This basic concept of indices you have already learned in your previous classes. Today we are going to discuss about the properties of indices and then we are going to solve the sums from Aris Agarwal. Okay? So let us uh, talk about the properties of indices. Properties of indices which you need to remember all the time. So the first property is a to the power m into a to the power m is equal to a to the power m plus m. So if the base is same, then the powers we can add if they are in multiplication form. Second property is a to the power m divided by a to the power m is equal to a to the power m minus m. So again if the bases are same and they are in division form, we can subtract the powers. Third property is a to the power m, this whole to the power m can be written as a to the power m into n. So like here it is 2 to the power 3 and whole to the power 5 it is, we can write 2 to the power 3 into 5 that is 2 to the power 15 like that. Okay. Fourth is if it is a to the power m and b to the power m we can write a b whole to the power m. If the powers are same then we can write it this way a b whole to the power m. Next one is if it is a by b whole to the power m we can write it as a to the power m upon b to the power m. We can separate it out like a to the power m and b to the power m. Next property is if suppose it is a to the power minus m then we can write it as 1 upon a to the power m. If the power is a negative we can take it down. Uh, the numerator can be taken it down and power can be positive or vice versa. If the power is negative at the denominator we can take it up and the power will become positive. If it is suppose a by b to the power minus m, we can write b by a to the power m. This is the application of the sixth property. You can see b to the power minus m it is, if I elaborate it, it is a to the power minus m and b to the power minus m. So when a to the power minus m, this numerator is negative, I take it down, the power will become positive and here the denominator is negative, if I take it up, the power will become positive and that is how you get this property okay and the last one will be a to the power 0 is equal to 1 anything to the power 0 is always 1 so these are few properties of indices which we have to keep in mind for doing the sums so now let us uh, start with the sums from Aris Agarwal exercise 6 so these are the sums from Aris Agarwal exercise 6 the first question is evaluate and there are nine sub questions on the same uh, question. So let us start one by one. The first is uh, 125 whole to the power 1 upon 3. So whenever this type of sums come, you have to first get the prime factors of the base. Here the base is 125 and the power is 1 upon 3. Need to get the prime factors of the base. Okay. So let us find out the prime factors of 125. And uh, the prime, prime factors are 5, 2, 5, 25, 5, 
5 and 5, 1. Okay. So, we can write 20, 125 is 5 to the power q and that whole to the power 1 upon 3. I have written in place of 125, I have written 5q and whole to the power 1 by 3 is there. Now, if you see the property a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m into n. This property I am going to use over here. So, it will be 5 to the power cube into 1 upon 3. 3 and 3 will get cancelled. 5 to the power 1 and anything to the power 1 is what? 5. So, the first answer, this one is 5. Hope all of you understood this. Let us try the second one. Okay. So, I will do it here. The second one. The second one is 8 to the power 2 by 3. So, it is 8 to the power 2 upon 3. Now, 8 is what? I do not need to do it like this. You understand? 8 is 2 to the power q. It's a very simple thing. 2 to the power q whole to the power 2 by 3. So, it will be 2 to the power 3 into 2 by 3. Which property I have used? Again, the same thing. A to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power mn. Whenever you are using any property of the indices, you have to mention that property. Okay? So, 3 and 3 will get cancelled. That means 2 to the power 2 and 2 to the power 2 is nothing but 4. Okay? So, the second answer we got that is 2 to the power 2 that is 4. Let me rub these two questions. Okay, so let us start with the third question and the third question is 1 upon 5 whole to the power minus 2. Now in this question we can see the power is in negative. So first of all we have to convert the power in positive. So we know that a to the power minus m is equal to 1 upon a to the power m. You can use this formula, you can write down this property, otherwise you can write a upon b whole to the power minus m is equal to b upon a whole to the power m. This is nothing but the application of that formula only. So this is in the form of a upon b. So I can write it as 5 upon 1 whole to the power. I can make the power positive. And this means what? 5 to the power 2 and 1 to the power 2. Now here, which property I have written I have used? That is a by b whole to the power m is equal to a to the power m b to the power m. This formula I have used. 5 by 1 whole to the power 2 is equal to 5 square upon 1 square. Now 5 square is 25, 1 square is 1. So final answer is 25. Okay, so I hope you, under, you are understanding that all the steps are to be shown like this and wherever you are using any of the property of the indices that has to be mentioned, mentioned on the right hand side. Okay, let us do the next question. Okay, so question number, question number 4 is 16 to the power minus 3 upon 4, 3 upon 4. So first of all it is again in the form of a to the power minus m. So I can write it as a to the power 1 upon a to the power m. So here I will be writing 1 upon 16 to the power 3 by 4. Now whatever I will do, I will do it everything as 1 upon. Okay, so 1 upon. Now 16 is 2 to the power 4 whole to the power 3 by 4. Okay, we have to mention, I have already mentioned that we have used that property first. Now here it will be 1 upon 2 to the power 4 into 3 upon 4. Which formula I have used? a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power mn. This formula, okay. So now 4 and 4 will get cancelled. 1 upon 2 cube, 1 upon 2 cube is nothing but 1 upon 8. So the fourth question is also done. Let me erase this. Now question number 5. 32 whole to the power minus 4 upon 5. So first we will make the power positive. So I will write. 1 upon 32 whole to the power 4 upon 5. 
which property a to the power minus m is equal to 1 upon a to the power m. Now 32 should be written in the form of its prime factors and that is 2 to the power 5. So it is 2 to the power 5 whole to the power 4 by 5. Now I am going to use the property that is what a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power mn. This property I have used here. 5 and 5 gets cancelled. So it is 1 upon 2 to the power 4 and that is 1 upon 16. So the answer for the fifth one is 1 upon 16. Okay. Okay. Let me clear this. I hope you all understood now so you can pause the video and you can do the sum on your own. Question number 6 now. 8 upon 125 whole to the power 1 upon 3. So first of all I am going to use here the property that is a by b whole to the power m is equal to a to the power m upon b to the power m. So this will be 8 to the power 1 by 3 upon 125 to the power 1 by 3. Now we will do it separately. 8 means what? 2 cube into 1 by 3 and 125 is 5 cube into 1 by 3. So here we have used this formula. Uh, okay, you can show one more line actually. You can show one more line. That is 8 is 2 cube and this whole to the power 1 by 3. 125 is 5 cube whole to the power 1 by 3. Now in the next step we can write 2 cube into 1 by 3 and 5 cube into 1 by 3. And here we can write down a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power mn. This property we have used. So 3 and 3 gets cancelled. 3 and 3 gets cancelled. So we get 2 to the power 1 upon 5 to the power 1 which gives you 2 by 5. So 2 by 5 is the answer for the 6 one. Let us start with the seventh question now. And the seventh question is minus 27 is equal to 2, by, uh, to the power 2 by 3. Minus 27 to the power 2 by 3. Now here the base is negative, so we can't remove that. We have to keep the negative sign here. So 27 is 3 cube minus 3 cube to the power 2 by 3. So now we are going to use minus 3 whole to the power 3 into 2 by 3. We are using the same formula a to the power m whole to the power n is a to the power mn. Now we have 3 and 3 will get cancelled. So this is, we can put the bracket over here, minus 3 to the power 2 and minus 3 to the power 2 is minus 3 into minus 3. So you can see here, minus into minus will become plus, so 3 into 3 is 9. So 9 is the answer for the 7th one, right? Let us go for the next question. 0 point, question number 8. That is 0 0.001 whole to the power 1 by 3. For this type of sum, first of all we will remove the point. Okay. So what we are going to write for 0 0.001, we can write 1 upon 1000 okay, to the power 1 by 3. Now this is as equal to 1 to the power 1 by 3 and 1000 to the power 1 by 3. Which formula I have used? A upon b to the power m is equal to a to the power m upon b to the power m. This formula I have used. Okay? Now 1 upon 1 to the power 1 by 3 is 1 only. 1000 can be written as 10 cube whole to the power 1 by 3. Okay? Now I am going to use 1 upon 10 cube into 1 by 3. Which formula again? a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m. 3 and 3 gets cancelled. So I am getting... 1 upon 10 to the power 1 that is 1 upon 10. Now convert it into point. Why? Because the question is given in point. So we have to give the answer in point. Right? Let us do the next question. Eighth is done. Oh, oh sorry. The eighth question is done. Now the last question of this uh, question number 1. 0 0.027 whole to the power minus 2 by 3. Since again seeing we will first remove the point. So we are going to write 27 upon 1000 to the power minus 2 by 3. And now to make the power positive. 
we will write 1000 upon 27 whole to the power 2 by 3. What did I do? Which formula? a by b to the power minus m is equal to b by a whole to the power positive m. This formula I used. Okay. So now 1000 is what? 10 cube. 27 is 3 cube and this whole to the power what it is? 2 to the power uh, 2 by 3. Right. Now we can write 10 to the power 3 whole to the power 2 by 3. 3 to the power 3 whole to the power 2 by 3. Which for formula I have used here? a by b whole to the power m is equal to a to the power m b to the power 1. See here a by b, this is your a by b whole to the power m is a to the power m and b to the power m. Okay now from here I am doing this side. This is 10 to the power 3 into 2 by 3. Uh, I will just rub it. I am doing it here just uh, see. Uh, it is 10 to the power cube into 2 by 3 divided by 3 to the power cube into 2 by 3. Which formula I have used here? a to the power m whole to the power n is equal to a to the power m n. Same formula I have used here. Okay. So here 3 and 3 cancels, 3 and 3 cancels. It is 10 square upon 3 square that is 100 upon 9. 10 square is 100 upon 9. That is the answer. So now we have to convert it into point because the question is given in point. So I think everybody can do this one. It convert it into point 919, 919 again, 11 it will keep on coming. So 11.11 is the answer for the last sum. So here we have completed with the first question and there are 9 sub questions on the first question. These are the basic sums of indices. Practice it well. In the next video, I am going to come with the next questions from the same exercise. Thank you so much and stay tuned. If you find the videos are beneficial, please subscribe the channel and uh, Press the like button.